Welcome back to my kitchen and welcome back to my channel. It has been almost a month since I've posted and I hope that you all had a great holiday. Today we're gonna be doing some freezer meal prep and to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure how many meals I'm going to do. I'm sure by the title of this video or even in the description box, you can see how many meals I'm gonna be doing today. So basically, if you've never been here before, I do a lot of meal prep and freezer meal prep with healthy options and just ways to make cooking and eating a lot easier for yourself and your family. Today's video is also sponsored by Green Chef. I will tell you a little bit more about that a little later on. So I'm not gonna ramble, let's go ahead and get started. This month I pulled a lot of my meats and things out of the freezer. I just wanted to use up what I already had on hand. So that is my tip and encouragement to you, especially with starting the new year, is go into your freezers, see what meats you have, if you had things you had purchased on sale, and get your freezer cleaned out so that you can start fresh and new with the new year. And I did try to kind of focus on some healthier recipes this month also most of these are pretty budget friendly as well and um, I didn't do quite as many as I do sometimes you all know there are times I do 30 meals in one day I will do a whole month at one time and I think for the next little while I'm gonna be breaking up some of my meal preps and not doing so much at one time and work on a bigger variety because a lot of times when I do a lot of meals at once I will do duplicates and I think I want to work on just having a nice variety in the freezer. So the first thing I put together here was a lemon pepper chicken and I love lemon. I love how fresh it is. Again, kind of thinking fresh and new with the new year. And I wanted to ask you all if you had some major goals for your new year, especially with meal prepping and things like that. Let me know in the comments what your goals are. Next, I got started in on some soup, and today I'm gonna to be doing three different soups, and my goal with these soups was to actually split the recipes in half and make more like a lunch portion size, so I could pull the container of soup out and we could do like hot grilled sandwiches with the soup for lunches. So I didn't really need a full portion size, Plus it would help with variety and not have so many leftovers in the refrigerator. I know sometimes when you have a big pot of soup, it causes a lot of leftovers and then sometimes it doesn't get eaten. So if your family does that as well, maybe split your soup up into smaller sizes. So the first soup that I'm making up is just some chili and I always make my chili with no beans. If you guys watch my channel often, you know that. And I love to put a lot of veggies in it. It's not always the same. Sometimes I do riced cauliflower. This time I decided to go ahead and cut up a whole whole green bell pepper and fry it up with some onions and the ground beef but I swap things out sometimes I put sausage sometimes I put ground turkey just kind of depends on what mood I'm in and I just added a little salt and pepper as well the next thing I'm working on is a fajita mixture or bake you could really do this on a cookie sheet in the oven once it's thawed or you could fry it up in a frying pan So like I mentioned, Green Chef is sponsoring today's video. They are a meal kit delivery system. You all know if you've watched often that I love their system, particularly because they have so many options for different eating styles. Personally, I really like to eat keto-friendly foods and they have an option that you can select 
for keto-friendly meals. The ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepped. And then it has these great instructions that have all of the steps with photos on the back, which is really helpful and I feel like helps speed up the time of prepping because it explains it so well. Not only do they have plans that cater to the keto lifestyle, but they also have plant-powered diets as well. So there is a huge variety that you can check out on their website. One thing I really appreciate about Green Chef is their high quality clean ingredients like their organic sustainably sourced produce. Every single week they have over 35 meal choices so you're sure to find something that works for your taste and your families. So whether it's just you or you have a family they do have different meal portion sizes. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and like I said, they have dishes for a variety of lifestyles that also include vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean for those who simply want a little more balance. Go to greenchef.us and use code ADELINEKITCHEN130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. I know that you will love it as much as I do. All right, so at this point, my veggies were starting to get softened and my meat was starting to brown. And I like to cook these together because I feel like it does help to cook up the veggies and I don't personally care for crunchy veggies in my soup so I definitely wanted them cooked through. After that I pulled out some of my chicken breast that I wanted to slice up for my fajitas. Now one thing I do suggest with this is to slice the chicken pretty thin just so that it all fries up really quickly and you'll be ready to make fajitas in no time. And then all you'll need is just the toppings for your fajitas whatever you like to eat and whatever type of tortillas you enjoy. So I didn't do any measurements and you can just see the spices I'm using here, cumin, um, chili powder, salt, and then I just like to take and seal the bag and really mix it around and it's good to go. And this is a fast, easy dinner. Like I mentioned, my chilies are often a little different. Um, so I went ahead and dumped a can of diced tomatoes and a can of tomato sauce in with the meat and um, just added in some spices that we like in this. I don't make it very spicy just because our daughters are um, pretty small and they don't care for a very spicy chili but what I do is whenever we have it served up in our bowls we will add either some cayenne into our bowl or some hot sauce to give it an extra kick. Okay, so the next soup that I was going to prepare is gonna sound funny but to be honest if I had to give an award out to the best recipe of the day, it would go to the soup. And it is a pizza soup, and so I needed to fry up some ground sausage for that soup. So I just went ahead and put that in to my frying pan just to kind of save time and keep everything rolling. The next thing I was preparing while I was waiting for the chili to cook and combine its flavors is some chicken cordon bleu chicken. And you all have seen me make this quite a few times. I've made it for a few years. So you just wanna cut the chicken into thinner slices. And then I used a tenderizer just to kind of get it a little bit thinner. And then you wanna lay in some Swiss cheese, you want some honey ham, you roll it up, and then you put it into either breadcrumbs or into some almond flour. And I went ahead and did some almond flour, so you can really customize it to make it work for you. 
and um, I just put a little bit of salt in with the almond flour and some onion powder and that's it. So they're really easy to prep and then all you have to do is put them into a baking pan when you pull them out of the freezer and bake them up and you can add whatever veggie sides you want to complete the meal. So next, my chili was cooked really well. I love that about using a Dutch oven. It really cooks everything up fast. Then I quickly cleaned the Dutch oven and added the sausage in. I added some marinara. Like I said, this was a new soup for me. I haven't made this before, this pizza soup, but oh my goodness, you will not regret making it and just having something completely different around. So one of the things that makes it so good is it does have cream cheese in it so it gets really creamy it reminds me a little bit of like a cheeseburger soup um, and obviously you just want to simmer everything so that that cream cheese melts in and you could customize this to whatever toppings you really enjoy on your pizza I did some mini pepperonis I did some mushrooms a little bit of black olives but you could do really anything you could even put bacon in this I think the possibilities are kind of endless Okay, so as the soup was cooking up, I went ahead and got back to my chicken cordon bleu. Multitasking is always key when it comes to freezer prep. And to be honest, this day was amazing. I think I did all of these meals in under three hours, which is awesome to have 10 meals in the freezer for under three hours and so much of it is so simple so if part of your new year's resolution was to start freezer prepping and you're kind of new to this whole thing don't be intimidated all you have to do is kind of start out with a plan write your list down get all your ingredients and you'll be amazed at how quickly it all comes together so the pizza soup was done and i went ahead and took that out and cleaned out my pot again and then I wanted to make some cheddar broccoli soup I don't know about you all but I just think that screams comfort food especially during these winter months when we live here in central Pennsylvania and we have so much snow right now and ice and it's cold so soups are just delicious and this one is really simple I actually thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult but it was very very simple so while I was cooking up the onions for that soup I made this, and if you guys watch often, you know what this is because I've made it quite a few times in the last couple of months, and that is this honey maple chicken. And every time I cook this up, my daughters ask me to make it again, so I feel like it's gonna be a staple in our freezer for quite a while, and it's so easy. All you need is either chicken tenderloin or chicken breast some honey, some um, ground mustard, and some maple syrup, and that's it. That's all this takes. Now, obviously, if you're trying to cut back on sugar, even though it's natural sugars, it's still pretty high in sugar, but for an occasional treat, I think it's pretty delicious, and there are a lot worse things that you could be eating. So <laughs> this worked out well, and it's easy to just quickly throw together. So you will notice with the other soup, I also use bone broth and I feel like it's just a great way to add more of a kick of health in your soups and nobody really knows the difference. If I'm not gonna go into details of why bone broth is better, you can definitely search that out yourself, but it's just a little reminder that it's a great way to sneak in some extra 
nutrients. So next I went ahead and pulled apart the broccoli into pretty small little pieces since this was going to be in broccoli soup. And this broccoli soup is supposed to be down the line of a Panera soup and I actually did not add the thickener that it called for and it still ended up pretty nice and cheesy so I definitely recommend this and I will be making this again. If these containers are in stock, I will link them below. They do go out of stock pretty quickly. They're from Amazon and they may be in stock with different colored lids than these, but they're a super good price if you're looking for some great glassware that can go into the freezer. And I love these because I don't have a microwave and I use my air fryer a lot and they perfectly fit inside of my air fryer so I can heat them up without having to turn on the stove if I want to. All right, I will be sure to link my label maker. I get questions about this label maker. Um, it is from Amazon and one thing I really love about it is it does not smear, it's waterproof, so whenever it comes to putting things in the freezer, your instructions and your labels will stay nice and neat and you don't have to worry about them getting wet. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for a lot more cooking and meal prep inspiration. Also, don't forget to check out Green Chef below and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.